everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode four of Project Race Car. Now, this is our Rallycross Fiesta that we've been building for the last six months. In the last episode, we got it wrapped at Joyce Design, the car was finished, it was ready to go testing, except for a couple of engine problems, which Big Neil sorted, and that's why we're here today at Brands Hatch, to get the car out for the first time in testing. It won't just be me here driving it though, Big Neil's gonna be out on track, we're gonna get both of our sort of feedback and work out where we're at the car, because we've gone a bit left field with some of the decisions. So it's running gravel suspension on the car at the moment, so it's riding quite high. I'm not so sure how well it's going to be able to cope with the tarmac. So I want to see if it steers and handles okay or if it's going to be wobbling around like the QE2. At the time of recording this, it is the 4th of July. We are out racing on the 29th at Lyddon Hill. So we haven't got long if we need to make any major changes. Anyway, let's get in the car, shall we? Set a few banker lap times and find out what Project Race Car is all about. really not good at all. Um, basically went out, did a warm up lap, everything felt kind of okay. Um, and then the first kind of flying lap, had a bit of traffic going in towards paddock, got out of your man's way. And then it started making like a horrible sort of death rattly noise basically and was like, oh, that's not good. Um, came through Graham Hill, was like, okay, we'll see how it goes. Put my foot down, no power, and then just plume of smoke and a big bang. So yeah, presumably the engine's gone. It seems like all the oil has been mainly caught in the bottom of the sump which is, uh, sorry, there's some guard rather. So that's something better now than at Lydon Hill, obviously, but we've got 25 days to go until Lydon Hill and that's a big task, getting that engine rebuilt in time and put back in and tested and run in and all of those things. So um, yeah, you know, that's worst case scenario. Let's see what we're dealing with here, get the head off. I mean, obviously not an ideal start to the day, possibly means that we're now gonna go into Lydon Hill with no testing at all, um, which is really not good because I really didn't want that. Um, you know, one flying lap around here is, is, is next to useless, basically. You know, I mean, I, may have, I might have over revved it maybe on the downshift perhaps or something like that, I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake and that's what caused the problem. Um, need to review about the footage, but yeah, not good. Um, yeah, so need to see, see what's what really. I see something's let go on the engine. It's, uh, it's solid, so yeah, going to be engine out, strip down and see what's occurring. Nightmare. 25 days, <laughs> that'll be a tall order. It looks like a piece of the Comrod, you see you got a piece of, possibly a piece of bearing from the Comrod. Game over. Oh yes, it's got massive crap in the block. Oh my god. Oh, some water. Are these, are these ones you didn't have the torque figures for? Yeah, and that should have gone through there. 
you can look inside the sump we've got big chunks of metal and when you're looking actually to the engine you can see we've had a rather catastrophic looks like conrod failure yeah so basically that's it yeah game over engine out and rebuild again can you get the keys to the shed i'll get my lawnmower out yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll have the engine out of that. <laughs> <coughs> if it was a regular engine where you could buy bits for it, you could buy con rods, but you just can't, you can't buy these things. That's the trouble. Because Ford said below the block, below the cinder head, it was, you didn't do anything with it, threw it away. Nobody's ever manufactured anything. So, the options are that engine. I've got no idea what that's like whatsoever at all it's not a vct engine but i'll have to take the head off hopefully the piston hasn't smashed into the head and done the valves so you get it apart you won't know that's the options is to build just take a chance with that bottom end yeah. take the head off this you can you, you get an idea when the head's off <laughs> Yeah, I think the, the pistons are different. Uh, blocks are also different here because we've got a, got a bolt-on oil cooler at the moment where we've got three engines, none of which are any good. <laughs> so plan B is not going to plan. So we'll see. We'll, we shall overcome. All right, so there we go. Um, yeah, a lot of work to do. Not a successful day by any stretch of the imagination. One and a half laps, a broken engine, and seemingly a big repair bill to come as well. But that's racing, isn't it? That's what it's all about. Anyway, there are 25 days until we go racing. So now it is a race against time to see if we can get this car rebuilt, ready to go for Lyddon. We're probably going to be going into it blind with no testing at all. So it is going to be a complete baptism of fire. So the next time that you will see us is when we are out on track, hopefully at Lyddon Hill, to get this Rallycross Fiesta ready for its racing debut. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you've enjoyed this video a lot more than I have making it. And we'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.